Hello, I'm Terry Swanson. And I'm Rent Nosnos, reporting live from Pi News on Channel 314. Today's news is brought to you by Bruce, the logical way. Our first story comes from the weather room, where a rough chain of segment bisectors are rolling in. Terry, you know when I do the weather, I go by chilly good weather. Okay, chilly? Well, Rhett, an awful storm of, of an intersecting bisector of a segment, also known as a segment bisector, is headed this way. This front, segment LJ, is rumbling in, but luckily, by the end of the day, bisector MZ will be heading in, and there will be an equal amount of sunshine in your town from now until Tuesday. Back to you, Arendt. Thanks, Terry. Um, uh, chilly? Arendt, now is the time in our program when we show our community business of the week. The cabal? Exactly, Arendt. This month, we're featuring the Vertical Angles Pizzeria. Oh, 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 oh. So you were thinking your pizza is better than mine? Oh, oh, oh. Not bigger, just better. Oh, I don't know. If we know that on both sides of our pizzas have a two equal sides, then how can we prove that pizzas are of an equal size? Well, uh, if we put our pizzas end to end, we can say that they are a vertical uh, angles, which are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. Using the uh, vertical angles theorem, we can uh, say that the angles are congruent. The vertical angle theorem states that two uh, angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. <laughs> then using my favorite, SAS congruence, then we can say that our pizzas are congruent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to our crime section. On Monday, there was a car chase. The police were following Mahoney McCrime. The police chased McCrime from the station all the way to the bank, which is 12 miles. They knew that the midpoint of their chase was the Lucky Bucky Diner. From the station to the diner is six miles, as shown here. But they weren't sure how far it was from the diner to the bank. Hmm. I'll check it out on Google Maps. <laughs> no need to read. Using the midpoint theorem, which states that if the diner is the midpoint of the distance between the station and the bank, then the distance between the station and the diner and the diner and the bank is congruent. So from the diner to the bank is six miles. Thanks, Terry! Get your hands off me. Nobody got time for that. Uh, sorry. So, next is our school highlight. We talked to three students at Euclid Elementary School. In English class, Bobby, Sally, and Johnny knew that the distance between their desks were equal. So they formed an equilateral triangle. But, they didn't know how to say that the, ang that the angles of their desks was congruent. I can answer that, Arendt. If you use the equal triangle corollary, which says if you have three congruent sides, then you can state that their angles are also congruent. Oh, thanks for the answer, Terry. We'll be right back after a few messages from our sponsors. Our news is brought to you by your family at Fractions Incorporated. We want you to know that Fractions are your friends. Hello, my name is Karen McCoskow. Will you support the lines cut by a transversal theorem? We want you to know that if two lines are cut by a transversal, then those lines are parallel. You are not alone. For just 30 minutes of tutoring a month, you can help fight for this cause. Thank you. We're back with Pi News. Again, I'm a Rhett Noss Noss. And I'm Terry Swanson. We're going to turn it over to Lizzie McStillins with music. Hi there, y'all. I'm a right country music, but I sure do love my bass, y'all. My, drum, my music room forms an isosceles triangle, and my drums are bass angles. I know that they make equal sounds, so how can I say that the speakers will produce the same sound? Well, I figured it out using the converse of the isosceles triangle theorem, which says that if the ba bass angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent, then so are the legs. Well, thanks for helping, y'all. Thank you, Lizzie. Today, we are bringing you a double header for sports. Paid for by the ASA, the American Softball Association, they would like you to know that the congruence statement that shares about the congruence statement that shares their name. ASA congruence states that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. I just can't believe that softball actually gets the spotlight for once. You just thought about football and soccer. Ugh. Anyway, also brought to you by the ASA is a section about equilateral triangles. 
Equilateral triangles are triangles with three congruent sides, not to be with, not to be confused with equiangular triangles, who have three congruent 60 degree angles. Now we move on to fashion. <laughs> if you all have not heard, Yvette Modelton won America's Next Top Triangle last night. But she says the hardest part of the finale was choosing between two dresses. Here's the model of the dresses here. She didn't know if the dresses with two equal sides that both have a 90 degree angle, which is included, would, have, would be the same size. Then she remembered what she learned in geometry. That's right, you use what you learned in geometry. The right angle theorem. It states that all 90 degree angles are congruent. So then she knew the dresses were congruent using SAS congruence, and that is sassy. Our final story of tonight is about our local zoo. We feature Zoe the snake this week with SSS congruence. This congruence statement says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. In these triangles, segments SN and AK are congruent, and segments SK and AN are congruent. Using the reflexive property of segment congruence, Zoe's favorite because of her flexibility, you can say the segment NK is congruent to itself. Then using the SSS congruence, you can say that the two triangles are congruent. That's all for this edition of Pi News. I'm Arendt Nos Nos. And I'm Terry Swanson. See you next time. And we're back with Pi News. Again, I'm Arendt Nos Nos. And I'm Terry Swanson. We're going to turn it over to Lizzie McStillens with music. Wait, should we pause this? No. Just keep going. Our final story of tonight is about our local zoo. We feature Zoe the snake this week with SSS congruence. This congruence statement says that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. In these triangles, segments SN and AK are congruent and segments SK and AN are congruent. Using the reflexive problem. That's recording. That's recording. That's recording. That's recording. That's recording.